Some fighters you watch with horror on your face as you watch them smother, drown, and brutalize opponents. Better BF is one of those fighters. And to me, he's the most horrific because at times you'll see fighters like Smith hit him with clean shots. Smith was looking for that left hook and uppercut all night and, and landed a few of them. And better BF, not only does he react, he doesn't even slow down. He doesn't eat. There's a lack of reaction. There's a lack of slowing down. He just keeps going. But uh, when it comes to better BF versus Bivol, I keep switching sides. And, and right now you can tell who I side with because look at the performance. But because uh, both that fight is that fight is so good. Better BF and Bivol. But yeah, I'm siding with better BF. And in the future, we'll do a breakdown and all that. But man, uh, I got a lot to say about better BF, who was brought up similar to Benavidez in that kind of conversation about that type of style, but not to the same level. And he absolutely should be. If we call in Benavidez a monster, this dude's a monster too. There's a couple other fighters out there that's like that, Matias and stuff like that. To me, he's the most brutal boxer in the sport, him or Matias because he has the type of attributes and the type of style to give some some people lifelong damage. But it was three rounds in and Smith looked like he was getting tortured. Like he came from Guantanamo Bay or something. Um, not just that, but with a fighter like him, sometimes their skills are overlooked because of his style. And he really is one of the most skilled fighters in this, this genre, this, this type of style of fighters. His defense to me is underrated. He does get hit a good amount. But he has a certain level of discipline with his high guard that's hard to penetrate. Pause. His footwork is also something I'll talk about in the breakdown, which is coming probably within the next hour. Um, in the future, I will also make a video about the two main types of power, heavy hands and, and uh, explosive power. But no one represents the category of heavy hands more than this man. Fighters with heavy hands can also be the type of fighters to weaponize endurance, like how you see better BF do. Um, and when I, when I say weaponize endurance, I mean, they don't have to put that much effort behind their punches. So if you see better BF, he can throw so many arm, but he throw there was like a point around the th round three where he threw like a hundred punch combination, nonstop punches. And every, even though there's no effort behind the punches, they're so heavy that they're constantly knocking the opponent's head back. And that's heavy punches by definition, heavy handed punches by definition. Um, his hands are just so heavy and dense. They, they aren't very explosive, but there's, and there's not a lot of body weight behind them either. But regardless, the, that lack of effort means he's saving up energy so he can constantly just stream out those punches. Uh, it's like fighting a golem. You, like I said, he's in there. Smith was in there for three rounds. He had double black eyes bleeding out of his nose, breathing heavy. It's insane. Um, he probably got a headache, body hurting everything. Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's an unforgettable experience. Even in the back, his eye was all, man, yeah, okay. Final thing I'll say is that people overlook when studying the sweet science, uh, people overlook the intangibles. Because a lot of times sweet science is about the, the, the skills involved that a lot of people don't pay attention to, which, yeah, that's mostly what I focus on. But intangibles like durability and toughness, which are both mental and physical, those are part of the science as well. Those are just as important as the tangible skills. Science isn't just about the skill. That's normally what we talk about, but there's also the science of breaking somebody down mentally and physically. And some fighters like this man have that science down to an Einstein level where they, they have a formula that works every single time against a, 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 a litany of different op opponents, so many different styles. And th that formula that they have works to, to a T. That's science, re re repeatable um, results. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss more of this in, in the future, Fights and Science and Mortality Serum out.